three, start. Hi, I'm Barry John, and welcome back to Let's Play Mech Commander Gold Desperate Measures. With me today, I have another special guest star, and I'll let him introduce himself. Hi, I'm Pop-Tarts Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pop-Tarts Ninja runs another uh, Battletech thread on the forum for all you goons. It's actually very big, and I strongly suggest that you read it. That's been going on for over a year now, so... If it helps, just start at the latest political vote and go from there. Ah, uh, I might do that myself. But, yep, always a good idea to start by hitting the high points for the visual. That gives you a nice view of the surrounding area, which is nice, because once you've revealed it, you don't have to worry about it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's one of the annoying things about this particular mission, is the uh, utter black fog of war. Actually, that's part of the problem with fog of war in this entire game anyways. Yeah, but if they didn't use it, you'd be able to drop artillery strikes on key objectives and, you know, with pinpoint accuracy. And then why would you need to bring mechs? Yeah, true, because they don't, they don't give you enough artillery to kill everything. No, they never do. Yeah. And that is a good thing. Although I do remember the, uh, the cheat codes where you could drop like a million artillery strikes. Who? Me? Cheat? What ridiculousness <laughs> is this? I earn my victories fair and square using easy mode. <laughs> Alright, so from the first thing first here, there's objective 1 to the up and left, and objective 2 to the right of my guys. I'm just going to quickly secure this extra little bit of uh, salvage here before we go too much farther. It's not always a good idea to uh, grab what salvage you can in Mech Commander. Especially on a me um, on a mission like this, where there's not a lot of mechs around to salvage from, mm -hmm. those little buildings can mean the difference between equipping another mech in the next mission or, you know, going under-equipped, which is never good. Although, to be fair, you know, just a good salvage run, they can, you know, keep your mechs afloat for the most part. Enemy components captured. Dragon reporting. Building capture. Yeah, let's see here. Oh, two large pulse lasers. That's not going to be a lot. Uh, standard large pulse lasers really start to drop off in their usefulness for the most part. Well, I'm in the end game here. There's really, I mean, you really have to start optimizing all your forces at this point. Mm -hmm. Which means you really need to be running clan tech as much as you can, just for the bonus damage. Well, I'm just looking at all my mechs here, I've got a Timberwolf, three Thors, two Vultures, and two Cougars, and you know, it's all clan tech for the most part I'm running here. Mm -hmm. And you really just can't, there's no way around it, it's the best st the best setup, so... I have a new sensor tray. Well, true. Except for the Atlas. Well, yeah. But, because it's the only hundred tonner in the game, nothing can really mount as much just outright armament is the Atlas, even though it sacrifices a lot for it. No problem, Yeah, though. the speed mostly. This has a fuck. Speed, and yes, you could grab an Atlas J and jump around, but if you want to jump, use the Warhawk. That's the, uh, Masakari. Yeah, the one that Firestorm captured at the beginning of the mission. Or at the beginning of the campaign. Operation. Whatever. Same... ish thing. Yeah. There's a lot of fuel trucks here, so I came up with the idea that I would send uh, Force or Lance 2 around to the north side with Lance 1 around the uh, by the fuel trucks and then uh, aggro as many of the mechs uh, into the fuel trucks where I could uh, it, blow sir. them all up in one fell swoop. Which is always neat, because there's a lot of Atlases it, in that group. Well, there's only one Atlas in... In, well, uh, at objective one. a lot of atlases in this mission, if I remember right. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, I think there was grand total six-ish. Uh, but, you know, it's not a big deal. And caught a glimpse of the, uh, of the orbital cannon there, which, you know, considering one of those things shot down a dropship, uh, you'd expect it to be bigger. Well, you would, but uh, honestly, dropships aren't all that big themselves. That is a pretty big emplacement. I mean, that's 
probably a good two, three hundred ton vehicle right there, which is about as big as ground vehicles get in battle tech. That is a smart move right there, taking out the artillery, or not the artillery spotter, the aerospace spotter. Those things will ruin your day. There's oh, they have ruined my day so many times it's not even funny. But hey, I got the bonus because I aggroed everybody. Took out two vultures. Another aerospace spotter. Unfortunately, the Atlas didn't get Wait close there. enough. Which is a shame, but hey, doesn't always hurt to duke it out with the big guy. It's not yeah. like uh, he can really stand up to a full Lance's firepower no for long. No. I mean, Atlases are awesome, but they can't really uh, handle themselves by themselves. Just finishing cleaning up the vehicles here for the most part. Uh, Yep. Yeah, I, I think that is a naval gauss rifle. Which doesn't make sense, because those should be a hell of a lot bigger. Pardon my language. Oh, this, uh, we're all mature people around here. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, so, it's time to move on to the second objective, really. And this one, it's a death trap. Let's say it straight up. Attempting to hit this particular objective, these... Uh, emplacements straight ahead is a dumb fucking idea. See, I can use bad language too. <laughs> well, to be fair, once you hit a certain uh, a certain point in Mech Commander, every objective is a death trap. Yes, but your whole idea <laughs> is to uh, make it a death trap for the other guys and not for you. Yes. But yeah, my plan for taking on this particular death trap because the way those aerospace guys are uh, set up, it's if you try to cross the bridge, uh, you're going to, well, walk into aerospace trap, and things get bad from there. Yep. They will both drop AoE strafing attacks, and I believe they can drop two at a time, and then they can't do anything until the, uh, the attacks go off. Mm -hmm. But still, that is a lot of AoE damage between... Two, taking two of them head-on would do a real number. Yeah. Especially on a bridge, because they will just ruin you. Yeah, but I mean, the problem is, is if they do land their strikes on the bridge directly, then it, they can take out the bridge itself. And unless no you problem, brought sir. jump mechs along, uh, if the bridge goes, you can't get to those objectives. No problem, sir. Burn out here. I'm under now, the, uh, fortunately, the aerospace spotters have, I think, the shortest range in the game, so you can kite them to death pretty easily. True, but I just but, prefer uh, to simply you know, blow them away with... Uh, yeah, it no certainly beats firepower. risking letting them destroy a bridge by blundering right into them. No problem, sir. Yeah. I've got it and, uh... Was it last mission that uh, that Ronan got himself killed in a door? Uh, no, that was the mission before that. The mission before that, yeah. The same thing happens on a bridge. If you're standing on a certain point in a bridge, usually right in the center of a of one of the squares on the map, and the bridge gets taken out, it's an instant kill, no matter how big you are. Yeah. Uh. It's one of those things, you know, is useful when you can pull it off and something you really have to watch out for. Fortunately, the enemy isn't smart enough to target bridges on their own, or fuel drums, or anything like that. Actually, no, they... You can't... The AI is... There is a AI script that gets them to target fuel drums. Oh, yeah. I've, it's just used so rarely, I tend to forget it's there. Yeah. But th that's right, there is a couple of missions where they will target them if you're amidst the fuel. The, uh, fuel. Mm -hmm. uh, the solo mission I ran was Sunday Punch earlier, as well as uh, Operation 5 Mission 2. Spoilers for the future. Uh, show off the enemy targeting fuel drums to try and take you in collateral damage. I'll take care of it. Repair complete. Repair complete. What do you think about the uh, mechs I've been using here for this particular mission? Oh, it's a decent mix of clan heavies. 
Yes, sir. You can't go wrong with clan tech in this game, especially as you start hitting Operation 4, 5, 6. The more of it you're, you're fielding, the better, for the most well, part. There's so Operation 6 is the expansion campaign, and you get reset for that. Uh, but yeah, Operation 5, the uh, approach to the starport, is basically you have to bring your aid in. Yeah. Done, sir. There, there's really no way about it, especially with the last, the last missions coming up also. But I'm not going to get into spoilers if I can help it. Because I have played this game, but it's been forever. Well, published in 98-99, so... I got it when it first came out, and I actually got a free t-shirt with it. In fact, I've got my original disc for Mech Commander right here. In my hands. Well, I can probably take pictures for the thread, except it doesn't have the uh, the front cover for the CD case. Yeah. Well, there pretty much goes objective too. I find it fun though that these uh, naval auto cannons, or sorry, not auto cannons, Gauss rifles, whatever the hell they are. You the know, big guns on tanks. <laughs> yes. They're treated as uh, buildings, not vehicles, if for the purposes of this particular mission. Well, in general. Because I know I tried uh, clicking the information on one of them at one point, and it just refused to call up information about the target. Yeah, and I'd say that that's, uh, that's true to the tabletop game as well, but only posthumously, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's a. There are super heavy vehicles in battle uh, in BattleTech now that weigh up to 300 tons, I believe. Uh, you, but you typically only see that in terms of boats. And yeah. the game does treat a multi-hex vehicle as a building for a lot of things. Mechs can walk on them. Hmm. Looks like well, you're uh, scouting the map a little bit here, just checking yeah, for salvage. No, I was also checking to see if there was a northern way across the water for the most part. Uh, turns out there's not, because I I don't uh, keep a copy of the uh, preview map, because the game runs full screen, so I don't print out a preview, the, uh, the briefing screen, mm -hmm. so I can't re-refer to the map during the mission. And I believe that a light jumper can actually clear some little islands there to cross over, but, yeah, I, but I don't think there's anything over there. No. Could be mistaken, but I'm pretty uh, sure there's nothing on that side, so... Well, on this particular mission, I actually, uh... Because I see that, uh, captured sensor tower up to the north there in the middle of the map. And so I'm looking at, like, there has to be something there. I mean, why would you put a sensor tower in the middle of nowhere in that direction, Because right? it's the clans. They love wasting money. And by love, I mean hate, but they do it anyway. Eh, true enough. So, I task a dragon to go and explore in that particular direction. New leader selected. Another viewpoint to be attained. Yeah, and it's always worth seeking those out just to get a little advanced knowledge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, it's just a case of, at this point, no, I could hit Consider Objective 3 through the south I end of I've the, uh, sensor, uh, just a, through the south end of the map there, but I like to be thorough, so I'm going to blow everything up before hitting the objectives. Well, that's always a good idea in general, because even the vehicles will drop salvage, so... Actually, they don't. Oh, don't they? Nope. No Only problem, mechs I... and special Fire vehicles drop self. Hmm. I must be thinking of Mech Commander 2 then. It's the just been forever team. since I played that also. <laughs> I think I got him Mostly because it was a much worse game than this one as far as I'm concerned. If you can't take the heat, the, uh, the AI scripting in this one this I consider now. much better. No problem, sir. True. Because it is you a scripted AI it. rather than a uh, an actual AI. So they were able to do more with it and set up conditions for, you know, the enemy mechs to actually do things as they're advancing through their script. 
Yeah. Uh, there are, in general, three kinds Building of AI captain. scripting I've noted. Well, four, technically, in, the, in Mech Commander. There's the aggressive script, which is basically, I see you, it's time for me to attack you until you or I am dead. Uh, there's the defensive scripting, which is a, uh, a where you see those guys at the bridge guarding earlier. Burn they will sit here. at a location a and ignore you until you reach a certain point or you attack them directly. I have a new the contact. third script is the, well, cowardly script. You saw it with the Loki's last mission, and you'll see it again in another couple of missions, but basically they're scripted to run away to certain waypoints, put up a small fight there if necessary, and then run away some more. The fourth kind of scripting is the uh, special Link event here. script, where basically it's the targeting of the oil drums, the, uh, you know, the using of terrain. Mantis reporting. I have a new sensor contact. And that one's used much less frequently, probably because it all had to be done uniquely. Yeah, the the jump jet one itself is very annoying because it also depends a lot on, I think, hidden waypoint markers and uh, terrain features. Enemy crawler destroyed. The enemy is engaging. No problem, sir. Fortunately, I'm pretty certain the, uh, no problem, the enemy sir. won't try to death the from above you as an attack, which is actually really good yes, because in the last, well, I, spoilers, but you will see jumping atlases. And uh, death from above is actually a pretty decent way to hit something right in the cockpit. Actually, I've never tried DFIs in this game. Oh, hey, there's another atlas! No problem. Yeah. yeah. Death from above Thank is one of those, it's hard to pull off, really, you know, you have to have a fairly stationary opponent, and it tends to work better against smaller targets, but you can do it, kind of like how you can stomp on element. Ah, uh, well, to be fair, I don't use jumping a lot unless, uh... The mission particularly calls for it. I always like to bring the one jumper with you. But yeah, Pain God, uh, you're what, sec second or third Thor no in first. Sir. Sorry, the fourth guy in your first lance there yeah. is uh, probably the best jumper in the game. Just in terms of uh, if you want someone to jump onto someone, mm -hmm. he's good at it. I was talking in the thread comparing his stats with Vixen. Uh, they both have the same total initial stats in terms of points, but uh, Pain God has higher piloting and jump skill in exchange for a lower starting gunnery. Yeah, but gunnery goes up so quickly, he winds up the best stats in the game by the last mission, if you're mm -hmm. using him even a little bit. This is Firestorm. I have a well, considering, train. you know, Pain God is Burn also participating in my thread, contact. I figured it wouldn't be right to uh, keep him out. <laughs> yeah. Well, he is, uh... No problem, sir. Honestly, the pilot I wound up using the most once you get him. The enemy is engaging. Just because he is that much better than a lot of the others. Especially in an assault mech with a lot of, uh, Hunter with here. a lot of energy weapons. Oh yeah. Well, we've got, uh, let's see here. Pain God, Lynx, Burnout, uh, probably Hitman as well. No problem, I'm just, you know, calling out my last little engaging. bit of uh, pilots for the most part. And you start this with, Enemy or sorry, the game destroyed. has, what, four no or five problem, inherently Vixen elite pilots? I think it's Vixen, five. Firestorm, Pain God, and one more I don't think I've gotten yet. Bad guy. No Enemy problem, components sir. captured. Burn out here. Building captured. And then there's a couple of pilots, most of the veterans you can get to elite status fairly easily, and Rooster, if you oh. use him every mission. But why would you? He's irritating. Hey. New leader selected. <laughs> well, I have no idea what all the rooster love is about. I mean, some people in the thread have commented that it's because he shows up again in Met Commander 2. That's actually a different rooster, though. 
Two guys, Ready. same call sign, different people. Consider it done. This is pain guy, but target destroyed. That can't yes, be sir. right. No, nope, it's destroyed. uh... No problem, sir. The uh, the unit you're actually with Consider in the uh, in the original Mech Commander is yep, first a house right. unit. Fine. Yep, they uh, are part of Operation Bulldog. No they kicked sir. the smoke jaguars out of the inner sphere, and this Consider coincides done. with uh, Mech there. Commander Three. Actually, or not Mech Commander Three, Mech Warrior Mech. Three. No problem, Mech sir. Warrior Three actually takes Which place a couple 100. of months later. Yep. after Consider the uh, with uh, Task user. Force Serpent, the Iridani Light Horse. So the, the two games are actually fairly closely related. Uh, the Davian Light Guards did hit Port Arthur, which this is this planet, so... Mm -hmm. uh, also, I think, but the Met Commander 2, no where Rooster sir. shows up, there's also a case of that being two years later during the Civil War. Yep, but it's no with problem, a mercenary sir. company, and attack. even if he'd left the Davian Light Guard, or heavy guards, I forget which. I think it's the light guards. Blue and white. Yeah. Yeah. Even if he had... Oh, showing off that you can't kill the uh, artillery with artillery. Yeah. The, not enough damage. You could with a heavy. It's a long the time. Target is destroyed. Yeah. But, uh, and here's where I try to, you know, get information on the target and just say, Screw it! Let's just hit things directly with my guys. But yeah, I'm I'm personally about 90% no certain problem, that the rooster in Mech Commander 2 is a different rooster. Yeah. Target destroyed. Aww. Mission no problem, problem, sir. I should really actually Target play Mech Commander 2 at some point. Ha 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 ha. I haven't played Mech Commander 2 yet. Take that! <laughs> it, it's... a comparatively Foundation worse game, as far as I'm concerned. The AI is interesting, it's just, you know, not as good. But it looks like we're out of time to talk about it. Well, we can keep talking, <laughs> we'll just... I'll just put up a, a screen cap of the last screen here. Oh, Capturing good. two atlases, though, as salvage, that's actually uh, a pretty decent haul in this mission. Pretty handy. The atlas is the best inner sphere mech. Really about the only one you should be... You should be bringing into the end game at all, so... True, because, I mean, it's a hundred tons of fuck you. Yeah. Carries the most weapons, although the uh, the Warhawk does come close and is faster. Oh, which is really so the trade-off. Yeah, it's really the trade-off. Do you want a fast assault, or do you want a heavy assault? Mm-hmm. Well, what did you think about the mission? I like that mission. I uh, I consider it a fairly easy one, to be perfectly honest. But it's a good mission all around, so... Well, it is fairly easy. It is not a lot of opposition, and what opposition there is, is very piecemeal. Mm -hmm. You can bring all eight of your mechs. It lets you leverage what you have to the full effect if you're playing smart, which you were. Mm -hmm. I remember one of my practice runs, I decided to be smart and run two, my two lances separately. But this game is not a good game for multitasking like that. No. And I'm not is, good at it. It's really... Well, because your pilots won't ever engage on their own for the most part, and because the interface is older so it's a little clunkier, it's really hard to micromanage your troops. Yeah. What would have really helped, though, is a uh, snap to command for the lances. Yeah, or a guard this position command, or engage anything. There is a anything. guard one. There it, is a it, guard command. It doesn't work as well as it should, though. They well, have to be actively attacked in order to engage, which is... Yeah, and the guard position is a... Uh, you have to select a unit or building to guard. Mm -hmm. So you can't actually... You, there's no attack move function, pretty much. Or yeah. rather, there is, but it's an attack ground function, which isn't helpful unless you're mine hunting. Or hunting uh, trees, pop-up turrets. <laughs> yeah, or pop-up turrets. Yeah. But hey, if you ever need to burn down a forest, at least you can do it. True. And there are a lot of forests to burn down on this planet. Much more than in uh, Mech Commander 2, if I remember correctly. But then again, the woods never caused much problems in that game. It was always, you know, getting your atlas up a hill. <laughs> And then, you know, just spamming swarm LRMs at things until everything blew up.
Oh. Ah. Well, you're right. It was a fun mission. It was a nice, easy, uh, it's basically... A... Sorry. It was a nice, easy mission to wash away the pain of the previous mission. It's it's also a nice lead-up to make sure that, you know, all the skills you'll need for the last mission set are there. Because the game is going to be taking off the, uh... The difficulty curve in this game is kind of pretty crazy. It varies from mission to mission. So mm -hmm. it, it is really nice to get a mission like this every so often. Where it's, you know, f slow and fairly relaxing, and yet you still have to stop and think, okay, how do I deal with the situation? Because I'm looking forward to seeing how you deal with the uh, the aerospace fighters in the last mission. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Pop Tarts Ninja, for commentating. Oh, any time. Well, any time I'm available. Anyway, it was pretty well, fun. I should hope so. <laughs> well. I will hope to talk with you again in the future, and maybe I'll get as many people as I can for the final mission so we can have this huge gargantuan chat party. Well, that would be pretty awesome. Well, thank you again, and I will see all you guys next time.